let's take a look at this problem. It says factor f of x into linear factors given that k is a zero of f of x with a multiplicity of two, very important. So in this type of problems, we're gonna use synthetic division and use our negative two k as our divisor. So we're gonna do negative two and use synthetic division in here, we're just going to take the coefficients, for example, 1, 2, negative 7, negative 20, and negative 12. Okay. Oh, that's ugly. Alright, so we're going to drop down the 1 to begin. Then we're going to multiply the negative 2 and the 1. We get a negative 2. We add them, we get a 0. 0 times negative 2 is... 0 then we drop the negative 7 negative 2 times negative 7 is 14 when we add them we get negative 6 negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 we get 0 so we're going to rewrite that as 1 x to the third power plus 0x squared minus 7x minus 6. Okay? Then here we're going to use synthetic division again because it's a multiplicity of 2. So we're going to use negative 2 as our divisor again. And we're going to do this again. So it's 1, 0, negative 7, and negative 6. We drop down the 1. So we have negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. We add them. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. When we add those, we get negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And again, we have 0 as our remainder, which is very important. So we're going to rewrite this as 1x squared minus 2x minus 3 okay so this we're going to rewrite again so we said that our first divisor was negative 2 our second is negative 2 so we have x minus 2 oops sorry plus 2 and again x plus 2 we go from the formula where we have x minus k. In this case, k is negative 2. So we have x minus negative 2. And that gives us x plus 2. And each time we use synthetic division, we took out a 2, a negative 2. Okay? And then our last piece of information is x squared minus 2, x minus 3. But we have to have it in a linear equation, so we gotta break down that x squared minus 2x minus 3. I'm gonna factor it out. If you guys have questions, let me know. And we see that negative 3 times positive 1 will give us that. Okay? And we could simplify this and have x plus 2 squared. And that is our solution. Thanks for watching.